an AliExpress knockoff versus an Apple original nylon sportsman. This one is $50, this one $3. Is there a difference? Let's find out. What's going on guys? This is Lee from Lee's Reviews and today I want to let you know my thoughts on an AliExpress purchased nylon sports band in the gray color versus an official Apple uh, sports band. Now I've had a few official Apple Watch sports bands and I just got this in the mail and I really like it. I think they feel great and super stretchy and looks classy. And um, I wanted to see what this was. This was a dollar sixty. I think it was like three dollars total with shipping and it took about three weeks to get here. And I was very curious um, what um, what the differences would be. So this is the first thing you see is the rib pattern. Now on this one, there is about twice as many ribs in the official one compared to this one. This one is almost fluffy like, and you can actually see every fiber. And it, it honestly feels like it could snag on something. But on this one, it's almost imperceptible. And you can see it in the white side a little better. Like here is like su super tight weave and you can't see any black behind it. But on this one, you can see black holes in the back. It's just a, a, a rougher weave. Now putting them on, I'm going to put on the phony one first. This is my series five, if it's pretty good. Now, it's about the same thickness as far as thickness goes, because I can tell because it has to slide through that because the case is in the way. This is a Crash Guard NX case, by the way. You should take a look at it. Uh, but yeah, I feel it's about the same thickness. So uh, I can imagine that getting thinner over time because it is a it is fluffier and eventually I'd imagine it would flatten out instead of being tight weave from the beginning. And uh, so as you can see, those rib patterns, once you see that and know, maybe for me, once I knew that this is the, the phony one, you can see those right away. Whereas when you have this one, it's just like gray. And also in the back, you can see, it just doesn't look, it looks shiny. This one looks an actual gray pattern. Now, um, also the color, the dark gray is is almost green. It's like, uh, the this one is like a dark gray like a like pure and this is like under certain light it looks like that um I green iphone and i'm going to put on the uh, official and this is uh that's what 45 extra dollars gets you is a, a tighter weave And it goes through about the same. It's the same width across the band here. But as you can see, it's just really nice. It, it, so this is the thing, it, it feels the same in the meantime. I, I don't know if it's gonna get worse because there's loose weaves. It's, it's about the same thickness, same width. It clasps the same. Is it worth an extra $45? No, but if, if you already spent as much money as I had on an Apple Watch, just knowing, just the psychological thought of seeing these ribs and uh, knowing that you have a cheaper unofficial product, that kind of hurts it. So I'd say save up and get this, but if, you know, if you're budget conscious and uh, there's nothing wrong with this, it's just a decent strap that may wear and tear because it's not as tight weaved, but, um, if you're looking for a budget, get a couple of these. But uh, if you're really into Apple Watch, I would just stick with this because the rib pattern is too much for me. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys later. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome. And I'll see you all later.